We can speak to Mark Kimmett, who's a former U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense. He was stationed in Germany with the American Army for years. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. How important are American troops in Germany to global security? Well, I think it's hard to say that 10,000 troops is going to make a difference in terms of global security. There are advantages inside of Germany. We don't want to leave completely. It has great airfields. It has great uh, structures that we can use there. It has great logistics bases. But given that the number of troops is well under 20,000 now, uh, it's hard to believe that pulling those troops out against a million-man army in Russia will have that much of a significant difference. But the important thing is not necessarily to keep the troops on the ground, but keep the aircraft on the ground, uh, maintain the infrastructure, maintain the relationships. But how can Donald Trump maintain the relationships if he calls Germany delinquent and he continues to upset major allies of the U.S. that have been on side since, well, since the First World War, how far do you want to go? And when you have Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, saying repeatedly, we can't rely on the United States anymore because of the man who is president of the United States. How does this maintain relationships? Is it just posturing, or could he actually go through with the threat? Well, I'd say two things. First of all, we haven't had troops there since the First World War. We had troops in there in 1944 when we were at war with Germany. But since the end of the war, uh, in the founding of NATO, there has been a concern on the part of the United States that the other NATO members are not living up to their defense commitments. The German army that I served with for years and years is now one-tenth the size it was at that time. So while I would prefer to keep the American troops in there, the president does have a point. There hasn't been a president since 1947 that hasn't complained about NATO members not meeting their defense obligations. This president as we know, is a businessman, and he is going to look at the numbers, and he's going to act on those numbers, and that's what he's doing here. Now, I fully appreciate that the United States was at war with Germany, Mark. I was just talking about how many of uh, the U.S.'s longstanding allies accuse President Trump of saying things that are not sort of conducive to continuing those longstanding alliances. So 1.3% of Germany's GDP was spent last year on military spending. I mean, surely the American president understands that Angela Merkel's in a coalition and it's junior members of her coalition that are always pushing back against this demand, as it is in the NATO statutes, that 2% of GDP be spent on the military. And how important can that much money be to the president of the United States when you consider those longer term alliances again? Well, again, remember that it was 3% for years and years until the end of the Cold War. I think what this president believes is that while the United States spends three plus percent of its gross domestic product for its defense needs, that allows countries such as Germany, who don't have to spend as much, to enjoy a social welfare system that we don't enjoy here in the United States. Mark, thank you so much indeed. You know, we always appreciate your expertise on TRT World. Thanks so much, Mark Kimmett.